uh, I want to conclude with uh, synoptic weather maps. Um, and I'm, I, I think there'll just be some time that we can have a look at the weather station models. Now, this is very important that you must be able to interpret that. You must know that the inside, every weather station is represented by a circle, cloud cover, one eighth, one quarter, half, three quarters, overcast. Any one of this can be in that, in that uh, circle. That would be the temperature found on top, at the bottom, on the left hand side, the dew point temperature, the weather in the middle, and the weather can be any one of this, fog, snow, drizzle, showers, rain, uh, thund th thunderstorms. Please, people, you must know your key, otherwise you won't be able to, to interpret the weather of your station model. Then the wind direction, people, right? Look at that. This is quite easy. This will be a southeasterly wind. There's my line there, okay? And people, you know, I was very disappointed in, 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 in when we marked the, the, the scripts uh, at the end of the year. We still get people who don't know their directions. Um, west, north, west, east, west, south, west, west. Uh, people, okay, I'll give you a tip. It's very easy. Uh, N E S W, and I'm sure you'll remember this for the rest of your life. Just remember never, ever smoke weed. Right? I'll repeat that. Never, ever smoke weed. I know you know what I'm talking about, but please, people, that is the easiest way in which you can, which you can uh, actually remember your, 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 your wind directions. And then people, your wind speed in knots, that's very easy. A long one would be 10 knots, a long one and a short one, 15 knots. And this one, uh, if it's with an angle there, that would be five knots. People, you, you must be able to, to inter interpret this, this, this weather station model. In the exams, they'll give you one and they'll ask you, what is the temperature, what is the weather, what's the di uh, direction, etc. Um, I would like to conclude with uh, uh, the, a few characteristics of synoptic weather maps. We've got here, I just took any synoptic weather maps here. You must know um, this is uh, the isobar that we've got here. There's these lines on the, on, on the maps are called isobars. Pressure at all pressures uh, along this line, for instance, would be 1,008 hectopascal. This would be a coastal low, right? This is a, a coastal low develops along the west coast, and then it moves in this direction. You must know that this is the South Atlantic high pressure. That is the South Indian high pressure. And please, people, remember that previous year when you only wrote Atlantic high pressure and, and Indian high pressure, we marked that wrong in the exams, right? It must be, you must say South Atlantic high pressure, you must say South Indian high pressure. Please, people, don't make that mistake. Yeah, on our map, we've also got a um, very, very short tail here of a mid-latitude uh, 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 cyclone. Just look what it looks like there. And then, of course, yeah, the weather conditions at Port Elizabeth. They can ask you what's the weather conditions. For instance, there, um, air temperature 25, dew point 18, cloud cover uh, uh, half, wind direction southwest, wind speed 25 knots. This is the type of question that you're going to get. Your isobar interval, that's your difference in pressure between two consecutive isobars, and that, of course, will be four hectopascal. Uh, 1,012 and 1,016, and yeah, we've got the tropical cyclone, Eileen, remember A, B, C, D, E? That would be the fifth one, right? And if you see a, a tropical cyclone, you must know that that will be a summer one, because this, uh, these uh, type of cyclones we only get during, uh, during the summer. Now, people, there are much more questions that they can ask on your, on your, on your synoptic weather map. Uh, 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 You've got to study this, people. You've got to have a look. You've, you've, you've got to know the, uh, 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 the relationship between the content that you do and your synoptic weather map. If you get a, 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 a cold front here, they are going to examine this. Then you must know the content of your, of your, uh, uh, um, of your geography. Then, people, um, I would like to um, leave you with this photo of the devastating uh, tsunami on the 11th March in, in April. Uh, and I hope that you um, realize how fortunate you are uh, to study disasters like tsunamis, earthquakes, tropical cyclones, landslides. And as young geographers, you are in a position not only to save your own lives, but also to save the lives of others when you know how to manage these type of uh, uh, disasters. So that's it for, to, uh, for the day, people. Thank you for being with me. Goodbye, and remember... Geography rules. Thank you.